Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are now almost done. I know I've been saying this for a little while, but we're very, very close to being done with filling in our gaps here. And that is excellent. On Trappist Prime, of course, we are going to be needing a job. Can we get in a research institute? Yes, we can. How are we doing on our exotic gases? Fine. So that's great. What else do we need on our worlds here? Absolutely nothing. Cool. So we've got the Uzab Vortex going here. And we're going to have all of this opened up eventually. We're working on activating the Elgate. That'll be done in 140 days. Construction. Will this finish up by then? Not quite. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be interesting, for sure. This is definitely going to be interesting because I'm not convinced that this is going to be good. <laughs> I'm not convinced that we're going to succeed here. We're going to build a hyper relay exactly where we are with this construction ship. And we need to start building a hyper relay network down this direction and heading down towards Q. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're at 2,500. Remember that the fleets that come through are going to be about 30,000. And that's why I'm a little bit concerned right now. This fleet is much lower at 19,000, but that is because it is on its jump drive cooldown. That will be done in time, so we should be good there. In theory. Construction complete. Okay, we finished up with the Ganges, and we're going to build mining stations here. There we go. And then we're going to head up over this way and build a mining station there. Actually, we shouldn't do that yet. We should build mining stations in Sinagawa and then head over to Barukan. Construction there we complete. go. We grabbed Landula. We're going to build our mining stations there and then head down to Ifo. And we just finished up reverse engineering minor artifacts. Okay. Uh, fleet command limit is actually pretty good here. We'll take that. Cool. So we need to control the interior of the L cluster here. That is our current goal. I'm actually thinking that we need to move over this way, move to like Charna, and we'll put this, uh, well, we're activating the L gate with this science ship, but we need to move up to like Charna. I want to control the L cluster ourselves. I don't want that to be con controlled by anyone else. So we'll see where that spawns. In theory. Special project okay. complete. As expected. Our technicians managed to lift the lock down from the L gate near Urkanon's Maw, but as soon as a permanent link, link was established to the L cluster, a massive incoming subspace surge was detected. We were able to restrict this potential invasion force from using our gate while still retaining access for ourselves. Unfortunately, the incoming surge was diverted to the other L gates in the galaxy. Strange vessels consisting of nanites are pouring through these now fully active gates, attacking everything in sight. All attempts to communicate with these machines have failed. In the wake of their passage through the L-Gates, we've detected a repeating subspace transmission emanating from the L-Cluster. Decoding repeated automated subspace transmission. Establishing translation matrix. Alert. Message is heavily corrupted. Attempting reconstitution of message fragments. Three message fragments partially recovered. Well, we'll access fragment one. We are the unintelligible. Architects of the Galactic Gateway Network. If you're receiving this transmission, then we can only unintelligible that we are not too late. Perhaps one of our message buoys somehow slipped past the unintelligible and escaped the cluster before it was closed off. Do not, repeat, do not restore access to the dormant gateway in our star cluster. Under no circumstances must a stable connection be formed between the unintelligible and the galaxy at large. For the sake of all civilization, our cluster has to remain under permanent quarantine. We'll access Fragment 2. In an act that will inevitably doom our civilization, we have deliberately isolated our home cluster to prevent the, the spread of the Nar Dishav, the Great Tempest. These self-replicating nanomachines were instrumental in the construction of our gateway network, but when their unintelligible had concluded, we found that they would no longer accept our commands. Through a hidden back door, our unintelligible managed to recall the machines to our home cluster, but the security hole has since been plugged. 
When they started harvesting our planets for materials, we knew it was only a matter of time before... Well, we'll access Fragment 3. The main unintelligible facility is the key. All of their unintelligible are routed through its subspace array. And without it, they cannot function. Unfortunately, all of our attempts to disable it have failed, and we can no longer muster the forces to unintelligible another assault. If the quarantine of our cluster has failed, you must destroy this facility. As long as it remains unintelligible, the Grey Tempest will continue to surge unabated throughout the galaxy. We... We're truly sorry for unleashing this horror. In our hubris, we... And that's the end. Okay, so, Grey Tempest is going to be attacking through every L cluster here. This one is the biggest concern. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our edicts here. And this is going to be expensive, but we can definitely turn on volatile ammunition. Uh, what else can we afford at the moment? That's kind of it. But we'll go ahead and do that, and that should in theory, give us enough firepower to blast through these Tempest Shoals. We're hoping that that's the case up here anyway. It's going to be very close. In fact, we might want to run some temporary negatives here. Um, let's see. I, if I recall correctly... Yeah, they're very efficient at dealing with armor. They're less efficient at dealing with shields. Okay. So, we need to hop into our edicts here. Oh, we don't have the shield boost. Oh, no, we do. Exotic gases for shield boost. Okay. So, we're going to be negative in a lot of these for a little bit. We can even run focusing crystals for the time being to boost these up. So, that puts us up to 3,200. And we're going to take this fleet directly through the L gate. No, not like that. <laughs> directly through the L gate. Oh yeah, we need a science ship to check that out. So we're going to enter orbit here. And we'll travel through. Okay, so that means that they were shooting up over this way. That's a good sign for us that they weren't shooting at us. Science ship under fire. Okay. So that's out in terminal egress. Okay. So we now know that that's there, and we can't move through this just yet, I don't think. The L gate itself is out over here. Okay. So we're going to make our way through there as soon as we can. For the time being, we're to continue fighting and holding our own here. This Tempest Shoal is no problem. Fantastic. We'll enter orbit here. And we will reinforce this fleet. We're also going to reinforce this fleet. There we go. And we have three fleets here that are potentially ready to move through. Potentially. If we were to move all three of our fleets through, we would likely end up not being particularly successful at this exact moment, is my guess. So we're going to move the scout back to Charna for the moment. And the Uzab Vortex here. I want this starport to finish up for sure. Initiating communications. Commercial pact invitation, huh? We actually get more than they do, so we agree to that. Cool. So we're going to give this a little bit for our starports to finish up here while we also work on cutting off the Grey Tempest. What we're hoping right now is that a number of these Tempest Shoals are, in fact, going to head out to other L gates. That's the hope. So, we can see right now that there's a Grey Tempest Shoal out over here, as well as over here. So this buys us a little bit of time. What I'm waiting on right now is this starport to finish up. Just to buy us that little bit of time. Hostile fleet encountered. Okay. Ah. I completely forgot about this Elgate. Okay. Yep, I didn't realize that Elgate was there. That's my own fault. However, 
That tells me that we got to go. So we're going to pop over here through the L gate. They'll all get here very, very quickly. We will continue to reinforce this fleet. Engaging enemy fleet. Okay. So there's a Tempest Shoal right here that we should, in theory, be able to eliminate. Our picket ships are doing a lot for helping us out here. Like, a whole lot. Okay. So we're fighting these kind of one at a time, which is a very, very good sign. What I do want to do at this point is... I want to start researching the special projects down here, but we can't do that just yet. We're going to move these guys into Urcanon's Maw and enter orbit of the Elgate for right now. Cool. So our picket ships do a lot of work in defending us here, right? So that's great. Like, we're actually quite effective against the Grey Tempest. We're going to back off to the Elgate here. And how much do we need to reinforce? About 8,000 alloys. I'm going to sell off a bunch of food here and a bunch of minerals. And we're going to buy in a good amount of alloys. We want to have this under control quickly. So something like that. We're now going to reinforce all. Cool. So our ships are pulling back to the L gate here. Discovered. And we have this relatively under control. So from here, we want to take this science ship and we want to come down over to here. Then there's nothing here. Sure. We want to research those if we can. Proton launchers have finished. For the moment, we're going to grab our... These are all pretty expensive. We're going to grab Neutron Launchers. And we're going to grab some more Fleet Command Limit. Cool. We should drop our Edicts for the time being. We will come back to those, I'm sure. But there we go. We have Reinforcements in Transit. And they will arrive here eventually. We also want to get a gun battery, missile battery, and a, a uh, disruption field generator over here in the Uzab Vortex. Okay. So, we got through the initial problems. We need to come take out this Tempest Shoal. And we're going to take all three of these fleets. It'll be a little bit before additional fleets come up here. Right? So, we're going to make our way over there. Wait, were we just instantly attacked? We were. They're coming through the L gate. Okay. That's, I guess, fine. We'll eliminate this fleet, too. Initiating communications. Okay. I, I didn't necessarily mean to instantly jump through there, because I have a suspicion that these guys might be coming back to us. No, I don't think they are. The Bill Knock are demanding that we that we be subjugated. That's actually hilarious. We decline that. <laughs> That's uh, not going to happen. And we're going to continue to reinforce our ships. So we need a lot of alloys. There's no doubt about that. Our archaeologists have unearthed a stash of potent potables. Were the sailors consuming these foul fluids? We will not ingest these strange liquids. Our exploration of the ship is already sufficiently intoxicating. Up come the lithoids, all hewn from their stone. These boulders are bolder when they're not alone. And then the chorus again. Up come the necroids, all fearsome and great. You can't kill them, mateys, they'll reanimate. The chorus again. Up come swarms of robots, get ready to run. Fight one, ten, a dozen, one, one, zero, one. And then the chorus again. We want more lyrics. Cool. So we're building a lot of ships right now. There's no doubt about that. And the Billnock are thinking about being jerks. But that's mostly because we're taking on the Nanites single-handedly right now. So, good luck with that, Billnock. Okay, up we go. And we're going to continue to reinforce as quickly as we can. 
We're going to take out these nanites. Hopefully. Okay. In we go. We're going to take a few more hits here. No doubt about it. But we're going to eliminate this nanite fleet as well. There we go. Uh, we'll just take the... This is what happens when you don't use enough fire. There we go. That's the route that we were going. We're going to pop back through the L cluster, or the L gate now. And we're just going to chill at the L gate. There we go. Cool. There's a lot of CVs that can be used against us at this moment. But we are currently down here surveying these debris. I'm going to take this ship down over here and build this research station. Assuming that they don't have more in Terminal Egress. We'll see what they've got there. Technology discovered. Okay, they did have something there very briefly. Regenerative hull tissue, sure. Uh, we're going to go for heritage site. I, or actually, this is already underway. We got that, I think, from researching this. Yes. Cool. So we're building this research station at this time. And our, our ships will arrive back in the L cluster soon. We are powerful enough to deal with one fleet. But we need reinforcements. That's for sure. We definitely need to be reinforced. And I'm going to sell off a few additional minerals and a little bit of additional food and consumer goods. And all of that is going to be used to buy additional alloys. It's very expensive at this point. Very, very expensive. But we're going to queue up everything we can. We have to keep our ship production high. Some reinforcements are popping in. The Shroudwalker Enclave has been destroyed. Okay. Our exploration has revealed a glance of ancient history, displaying the zeal and courage of ancient explorers. Clearly, the captain used this space shanty to motivate and coordinate the crew. Perhaps they even sang along. Our archaeologists are suggesting this performance should be preserved in a museum installation. As for the ancient melody, we've transcribed all the lyrics we could find and added them to our databanks. Our own sailors now have a habit of singing versions of their own space shanties, which should improve their morale and efficiency. We rose from the ocean and reached for the sky. We're building an empire that never will die. And it's windy weather, boys. Stormy weather, boys. When the wind blows, then we're all together, boys. Blow ye winds, fringe word, hey. Blow ye winds, blow. Out to the galaxy. Steady she goes. It's time to untether from this ancient vessel, casting off the hawser as we set sail on solar winds. Steady as she goes. Memorize the lyrics and set the next course. Cool. Plus 10% sublight speed. That's pretty good, in all honesty. That's that's actually very good. Okay. So there's going to be additional nanite fleets until we get all of this cleared out, right? That's, that's just going to be the way that that goes. But we're intercepting them. And, I mean, there are a few Grey Tempest fleets out there still. But all things considered, this should be reasonably under control. Reasonably. We're going to have more reinforcements coming in here over time. The Tempest Shoal is leaving. This is very good for us. We don't actually Custom want to fight them yet. Encountered. That said, another fleet came in. And we'll see what ends up happening with them. So we're going to continue to rebuild our fleets here. We need another 7,300 alloys. And we can also bump up the size of our fleets. Which I will do. We're going to go up to three battleships. Um, we're then going to go to, like, 36 Corvettes for the time being. That'll do for the moment. Okay. So now we need, like, 17,000 alloys. Unsurprising. Our reinforcements are going to continue to pop in here. The Great Khan has been defeated. Or, actually, not full-on defeated. They just had a defeat. So that's fine. And we're just pumping the ships out at this point. We've got battleships. We've got corvettes. We're going to run out of alloys here soon, though, to reinforce with. And how long before our reinforcements show up here? 
all this year, uh, the latest that I see is August, which is like seven months away. Construction complete. Okay. Here comes a bunch of Corvettes. That's wonderful. So the Scout is over here not doing anything. The Drake is up here currently not doing anything, but we can definitely excavate this site. The Merrimack is not doing anything either. And we need to head up over this way. We're lacking alloys for constructing there, which is fine. This is in Zolbox Maw right now. We're planning on having this be out here. Cool. We'll continue to reinforce for a bit. But our alloys are our limiting factor at this moment. But as the reinforcements come in, complete. we should be doing much, much better. Technology discovered. Cool. That's another 20 fleet command limit. And we can't really expand it beyond this right now because of our naval cap. So that's okay. I think we're going to go for clone armies. There we go. The Orinoco is not currently doing anything either, uh, but the Yangtze is the one that we're interested in. We're going to build there and then head over towards Amory. Fantastic. Now let's check in on our worlds. It's been a little bit. This Forge world definitely requires an industrial district, which we will happily put in to boost up our alloy generation. This generator world here requires housing. Easy enough. And that's it for the time being. Okay. So our fleets are a little bit battered. There's no doubt about that. But these guys don't seem to be interested in attacking us at this moment. Beautiful. So we're going to take this science ship up over to Terminal Egress. And we'll survey that system for the time being. And we'll see what we get done before they bring in additional ships. Our reinforcements are on the way. They will be here soon. The Ganges is not currently doing anything, and we definitely want to grab our mining stations here, and then we'll head down towards Yolam. There we go. Evading hostiles. Okay. So these guys pop in. This is deeply unsurprising. They've been doing this. They just pop in, travel through. But we're reinforcing. Hostile fleet encountered. Is that these guys? Presumably. I I don't really care about that. As long as they're not going through the L cluster, or the L gate rather. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, they're going to come attack us. So these guys might get pulled in. We're going to re-up our edicts here. So we're going to turn on our reactive armor, our ammunition. We're also going to turn on our exotic gases for shield boost and our focusing crystals. There we go. They're chilling for the moment. They were coming this way, but when we activated, they stopped. Okay. They're just passing complete. by. All of our reinforcements are on the way in. Complete. Well, not all of them. We've got a couple of battleships still being built. Okay, we should definitely turn our edicts back off since this battle isn't going to be happening. But as those reinforcements come in, we get stronger and stronger here. We should definitely continue to reinforce as we can. Hostile fleet encountered. Okay. These guys are surveying regardless. That I don't necessarily like. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to clear out the L Cluster. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazaral, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Kentuin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, Jens Graham, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.
Once again, the wrong button. Let me try that again. There we go. Cool.